Hi, this is Money from uh, bsc2nc.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the uh, long term investment dashboard and that's available on bsc2nc.com homepage now. I'll show you the link and uh, uh, brief you on what it means in this video. So, the idea of the first point here that is mentioned is the idea is to identify companies which are more bullish than the index. So basically the dashboard is a dashboard for investors who wish to accumulate wealth over a period of uh, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years and uh, to identify which companies to invest. So companies which are constantly growing in profits and revenues uh, with relatively zero debt and uh, fundamentally good companies. So you can read my book on how to identify fundamentally good companies. So once you read the book, um, the dashboard will help you identify such companies and uh, you know you don't have to go through like 2000 companies to identify which, which ones are good. Okay. So uh, what, we, what we basically tried to do was identify companies which are more bullish than the index like Nifty. Uh, why? Because in a growing economy, uh, indices like Nifty will always go up over a period of time. So Nifty is taken as a benchmark and uh, we ended up developing this dashboard and we check the performance of each stock or measure the bullish factor of each stock over a period of five years. Now why, why don't we measure it for three years or why don't we measure it for two years or one year? The reason being that over a period of two years or three years Nifty can constantly be in a bullish mode. Uh, so uh, there will be a lot of noises wherein even junk companies will go up when Nifty is constantly going up, right? So we want to avoid the junk companies and we want to find companies which perform well even when Nifty is going down. So in a period of 5 years, uh, you can see any time frame between 2008 to 2013, 2003 to 2008, 2000 to 2005. In a period of five years, uh, Nifty will constantly not go up. At least for one year, it will come down uh, in a in a kind of a bearish mode or a correction mode. So we want to measure the performance of a good stock uh, uh, during a good time as well as during a bad time. So it's like saying when you want to pick a cricketer, you want to make sure that he performs well in Indian pitches as well as in the Australian pitches as well as in the New Zealand uh, bouncy pitch or a swinging pitch as well as a spinner friendly pitch as well as a you know a fast bowling track so um, we want to measure uh, the uh, performance over a period of time when nifty is constantly going up also when nifty is coming down okay so this helps us identify or weed out the noises vbs value by score uh, is again a factor where once you identify the good companies you want to identify a really good time to accumulate these stocks. For example, uh, the best, uh, the best uh, bullish stocks you can kind of ident uh, accumulate when they are offering a discount, or when they are trading near a 200-day EMA or below a 200-day EMA. So uh, the value by score helps identify at any point of time among the bullish stocks which companies are trading at a good discount. And I'll show you an example with calculation. Uh, Currently Lupin is offering a good discount because of some issues in the pharma sector. Uh, it's now trading at a close to 30% discount from uh, 52 week high or all time highs. So which is a good time to accumulate a, a really bullish uh, company. So um, I'll show you how to access this dashboard. So you just have to go to uh, bsc 2 nsecom homepage, open a new tab, click bsc 2 nsecom and once you're here uh, at the top there's a tab called dashboard and the first link is long term investment uh, you can click on this and it will open up the dashboard here right and you can go through the uh, uh, things here and then or you can uh, on the right side you have the long term investment dashboard links dashboard links long term investment so click on long term investment you will again get the same link right so here you can see the top bullish stocks here. Uh, you can see that it is sorted based on the bullish percentage. HM Motors is the topmost bullish stock. The higher the bullish percentage, the better it is for an investor. Uh, obviously, I would right now, uh, definitely if I want top five stocks in the Indian market, I'll want to invest in HM Motors, Kajaria Ceramics, Laopala, Page Industries and Asian Paints. Okay. 
so uh, based on the bullish percentage you can see that uh, out, I mean the same logic has been run on all 1500 companies or close to 1700 companies which are listed in the uh, NSE exchange and you can see that nifty was around 70 percent bullish so since we take nifty as the uh, uh, basic thing and I would want to invest in stocks which are more than 80 percent bullish more than 80 percent bullish there are hardly 20 to 30 companies 30 companies only so which is only two percent of stocks which are more than 80 percent bullish so which means out of 100 companies only two companies are more bullish than uh, 80 percent now uh, I let you know how I calculate this bullish percentage we've taken the data for the last five years and we calculate the 200 day EMA of each of the stock or SMA and I'll show you a, a graphical way of uh, explaining it so this is a, a five year chart of HR Motors with the 200 day EMA you can see at the top HR Motors and uh, uh, basically what we do to calculate the bullish percentage is the percentage of time the stock spends above the 200 day EMA so you can see that uh, just by looking at the chart you can you can tell that uh, HR Motors has constantly stayed above the 200 day EMA and has gone up in a kind of a 45 degree manner over the last five years and the reason being that the investors or the average investor sentiment on this stock has always been positive and that is because that uh, HR Motors has been growing at a 50% pace every year in terms of profits and revenue growth and it's a zero debt company so it's a fundamentally strong company uh, which is a growing company at this point and which will be the kind of stocks that investors look to invest in and as the profits and revenue uh, they get delivered more and more the share price tends to constantly go up when the share price tends to constantly go up it uh, tends to stay above the 200 day EMA more often than not now in a particular year there will be close to 220 trading days so last five years will contain close to 1000 1100 trading days so when we say that HR Motors is 95 percent bullish it means that out of 1000 days or the last 1000 days 950 days it has spent above the 200 day EMA only 50 days it has spent below the 200 day EMA okay so that's what it means so these kind of companies like I said when the value by score is good or when it's offering a good discount it's good to accumulate these companies and so basically what we are saying is the dashboard will tell you stocks which have done well over the last five years and it's like saying uh, uh, picking Virat Kohli or putting your money on Virat Kohli you know that he has done well in the last five years and he's expected to do well in the next five years okay so of course eventually they'll retire or uh, the stock may run out of growth or the growth may slowly come down but before that you would have uh, made a good entry and uh, uh, you would you would see some nice returns on uh, these stocks so basically the bullish percentage is arrived at uh, by the percentage of time the stock spends above the two, uh, 200 day EMA over the last five years okay and like I said out of 100 companies only two companies are more bullish than 80 percent you can see that HR Motors is the topmost stock right now and then Kajaria Ceramics and then Lao Pala and then Page Industries and then Asian Paints and then you can check out the entire list and th these set of stocks will normally not change uh, too quickly so it will take uh, years before a bullish stock you know the percentage comes down from 90 percent to 80 percent or so so you need not review these set of stocks too often so these are classified into various uh, sectors for example HR Metals belongs to the automobile sector so in automobile sector you can see that HR Motors is 95 percent bullish and the next is Maruti which is 73 percent bullish so you can see the clear difference even within the sector uh, the difference uh, of the bullish percentage uh, you can see clearly that HR Motors is way way more stronger than Maruti from an investor perspective and then this is a miscellaneous sector so I've put in all the miscellaneous uh, stocks into this 
category kajaria ceramics page industry speed light apollo hospitals and uh, z entertainment and then small cap stocks uh, small cap or mid cap stocks which are relatively smaller companies and then comes the paint industry and pharma industry in pharma you can see that lupin is the most bullish stock followed by natco pharma and you can see a clear difference between uh, natco pharma and divi's lab wherein it uh, lupin and natco are around 87 and 86 percent and then divi's lab comes in at 81 percent and then ajanta pharma and then dr reddy and in banking or finance space you can see clearly that it's Bajaj Finance which uh, leads in terms of the bullish percentage at 87%, Kotak Mahindra Bank at 83%, uh, Canara Finance Home at 81% and Indus in Bank at 81%. And you can see in, my, in IT uh, sector, Mindtree, HCL Tech and then comes TCS and Hexaware. FMCG you can see that Marico, Godrej Consumer are way ahead of the other stocks in the sim same sector. And in cement space, Sri Simmons and Ultratech Simmons are the uh, top bullish bets. So coming down, uh, the bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing and uh, the candlestick trend reversal analysis. These are relatively some of the trader components here added. So the trend ratio, the positive trend and the negative trend. So these are only for stocks which are traded in futures and options. So out of 168 uh, companies which are trading in uh, futures and options, 126 are in positive trend and 42 are a negative trend so I don't want to complicate this video by telling you uh, how this uh, trend is uh, calculated so if you come down more you have a table where I display the top bullish stocks with good value by scores you can see that value by score is 132 for Lupin right now Lupin is the uh, uh, again in this table I'm displaying only stocks which are more than 80 percent bullish which and with a descending order of VBS value by score for Lupin you can see that the bullish percentage is 87 52 week high is 2108 and the current price is 1474 so what I'm basically doing in the value by score uh, I'll show you here the value by score is nothing but I'm adding up the bullish percentage and the discount the stock offers from 52 week high and multiplied by 1.5 times so the discount from 52 week high is given a weightage of 1.5 in case of lupin the value of the bullish percentage is 87 percent so i can show you the five year chart of lupin so in this instead of change i'll change uh, hm motors code to lupin you can see that this is the lupin chart over the last five years right and you can see that right now it's trading at a good discount from the 52 week high So the bullish percentage of Lupin is 87.73 and uh, it's now trading at a discount of 30%. Uh, you can just calculate it using a calculator here. So 2108 is the 52 week high minus the current price 1474 divided by 2108 which is, which is the 52 week high and multiply this by 100 you get the discount from 52 week high which is around 30 multiply this by a 1.5 which is the weightage so you get 45 you add 45 to 87.73 and you get 132.84 which is exactly what you see here under the value by score so basically the value by score for lupin is nothing but the bullish percentage of uh, lupin and then you add it to uh, value uh, discount from 52 week high multiplied by a weightage of 1.5 you get the value by score and we do this logic for all the bullish stocks and we list it in a uh, descending order so currently current month you can see that uh, lupin and blue dot are offering a good value by score of 132 and 125 and generally on a monthly basis once you build the portfolio on a monthly basis you can accumulate this uh, bullish stocks which are offering a value by score of more than 125 so you will accumulate them when they are offering a good discount and I think uh, already, uh, this is already a long video and I will stop here for now any questions or any queries post in this video and I will get back to you